Ohio Sci-Fi Valley Con. This is Samurai Jill here with Jenny Kwan. Hi guys. Part of the Avatar reunion here. Yes. The voice of Suki. You having a good time so far? I'm having a great time. I've been to Sci-Fi Valley Con, let's see, two years ago and everybody was just so gracious and again, I mean it's an outrageous Saturday but it's just, I was just talking with someone and just the leper avatar is overwhelming. So I mean, thank everywhere you, guys. you look, there's people cosplaying avatar, yeah. wearing shirts. It's it's amazing. Yeah. But before I get into avatar questions, I want to talk about a recent role, pretty monumental one. Okay. The voice of Chun Li. Yes. Yes. Oh yes. my gosh, what was that like? Well, I'm gonna share something that actually a lot of people didn't know. I was the sample voice of Chun Li before the game came out with you know the gaming company and. I didn't get it. And so I thought, oh, what's what's going on here? And then when I auditioned for the role, usually in video games they don't tell you what the game is for, mm -hmm. even up until the point of release. Wow. And yeah, because they don't want it getting leaked. And so when I found out it was Chun Li, I was like, oh, cool. But all my friends were like, it's a huge deal. Do you not know? She's like the third iconic yes, female like player in. So I was like, oh, great. Cool. One of the most iconic video yeah. game characters ever. So I feel really lucky. Is it different voicing a video game character versus in a show? Um, you know, it just depends. If, for example, with Suki, I did a lot of efforts as well, like fighting efforts. And for video games, depending on the video game, especially for Chun Li, because it is a fighting game, a lot of it is is efforts and fighting and jumping Random and kicking. Grunts and things, yeah, so right? it just depends on what genre of VO you're doing. But for video games, there's Especially if it's a fighting game, there are a lot of efforts involved. That's so cool. I'm so excited to play it and Thank hear you, you in it. Thank now, you. Now, of course, you're the voice of Suki, and I saw you cosplayed as her too. Oh which yeah. I have so much respect for that as a cosplayer. And, and I that makeup. Thank you. Yeah. That had to be so much to wear. So I give mad props for all the cosplayers and especially Suki cosplayers. I feel you guys. That's why we're bonded as sisters and warriors and. It took me so long not only to get in the makeup and do it right because I wanted to make sure it was exactly how everybody would want to see the person who voices Suki and again respect to the Kyoshi Warriors and to the character so I really took it seriously. It took me about a good 20 minutes to get into the entire garb. And my makeup took, I don't even know how long to Hours, do Hours, probably. Yeah. I mean, all the layers. Yeah. I, I, I feel you. Yeah, and the only thing I kind of use, because my hair is almost the same exact color as my hair, I was like, no more, no more wig. But my hair is close enough, so good, good, good. So, yeah. So, one common theme throughout Avatar is redemption. You yes. You see this with Zuko and Iroh. I'm curious, since I'm dressed as Azula, do you think Azula could ever be redeemed, or is she past that point? Well, <laughs> Can we redeem Azula? I really do believe that everybody has a chance for redemption and it is up to them to come to that point where they realize that they need to get to that point and then that's the way to accept help from others. And she was still so young too. Oh yeah. She was growing to do. A lot of growing. I mean I it may that. take a, a lifetime or more but I believe it can be done. So I'd love to know what advice you would give to aspiring actors and voice actors. What I always tell people who come up to me and ask me about acting and voice acting is learn how to get better at the skill of acting, right? So just because we're voice actors does not mean that we just parrot voices, right? It's so important to know your genre of acting because when you get onto these jobs, you have to know what you're doing. And I've really learned that over the years that, for example, I do a lot of dubbing as well. Sometimes you don't even see what you're dubbing until you're doing it. And so sometimes it's really emotional and you're doing it on the spot as you're reading it. And if you don't know how to get the emotions or perspective of that character, then it's not a good thing. So. <laughs> So practice your skills, everybody. Practice, yeah. And that's so accurate because I've seen you know, all you voice actors here. When you do the voices, you're you're doing the faces. You're getting right. into the character right. a little bit every time. Right. It's not just talking. And that's especially too for voice acting because we cannot be seen for mm -hmm. our expressions. You have to be able to make sure that your character is communicated in a way that it reaches your audience. 
so it's really important. One last fun question. Sure. So one of my favorite parts about Sci-Fi Valley Con is yes. always the after party. Uh, karaoke. Yes, yes, so I yes. I wanted to ask, what would Suki sing at karaoke? Oh, Suki loves. Uh, if 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 any of you Avatar fans have read Suki Alone, yes. Shameless plug. Um, or any of the other Avatar series, it's so cute because Suki loves. She's like a teenage girl too. I mean. She is a warrior and she's a girl too. So she loves bands, she loves boy bands. She could be like a groupie. What would Suki sing? Um, there's a song by a young uh, artist by the name of Catherine Lynn Rose on TikTok. And she came to me and she's like, Jenny, I wrote this song um, for Suki and it's called Aww. Fight Like a Girl. And it's Aww. the perfect theme song for Suki, for anybody who, you know, is a female, is not anybody, but it's just about believing in yourself and fighting for things that are important, and it's a well-written song. I'll have song. to give that a listen. Yeah, you can, can find it on TikTok. Idea? Yeah. It's kind of a funny one. Sure. Wannabe Spice Girls. Oh Imagine my God. Imagine with the Kyoshi oh, Warriors. My, I love that, because I love the Spice Girls. Yep. <laughs> I love that, Jill. that to Sokka. I love so that, funny. I love that. That is perfect. With the Kyoshi Warriors. Very good, very good. All right, I love everyone, it. come meet Jenny Kwan here at Sci-Fi Valley Con. We're having an amazing time. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much. Thank you, Jill. Yeah.